Well, y'all, this is how I get to talk to my mom. And she's been gone for 38 years. And I was 24 when I lost her. I'm tearing up right now just talking about it. Um, you don't understand when you lose your mom. And I was 24 with three kids. And I really needed her. And I miss her so much. And I tell you, when I live, she lives. Because she lives in me. And she's been gone. She missed her grandkids. And now she doesn't even know that she has great grandkids. But they are beautiful. I did a good job raising my kids. And my kids are doing a great job raising their kids. And the proudness in me is here. And I always talk to her. I always talk to her. Me and my five brothers, we put this stone together three years, four years ago, I think. And um, it took something because I got some worthless brothers in my family. One of them never even paid his $100. But he came to the barbecue. Oh, yeah, he came. Yeah, with his belly empty. Mm -hmm. But um, he's not welcome to my house anymore. But uh, this is where my mother is. And I know a lot of y'all have your mom still. And what you don't understand, when you lose that person in your life, and you're young, and you got to go out here and try to figure out life. And I was still figuring it out, even though I had three kids. Because it was so much she had taught me at a young age that I knew how to handle. I knew how to cook, clean, and this and that, and, you know, what have you. But being able to talk to her every day, I don't have that. So I am here for my kids. They can call me in the middle of the night. They can call me anytime they want to just talk to me just to hear my voice because one day it won't be there. And so I wanted you guys to just hear where I am in life. Like I'm 63 now. I just had my 63rd birthday. And you can't tell me I don't still miss her. 